I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass, so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. You have three minutes. <laughs> I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. What the fuck is that girl doing there? If Marsh comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. I brought some food. I didn't know what you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Why are you helping me, Madison? You know nothing about me. You could have been killed. I don't know. I guess it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. You needed help. I helped you. You were all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm the only one who can save Sean. For your own safety, Madison, I think you should go. Go? Ethan, they're after me too. They've seen my face. I'm in this too deep to stop now.
I... I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards... is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. Your vodka, sir. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. 
But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't mm. fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park when in the opposite direction at 1637, that could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Ah, pity we can't see the driver's face. The car was stolen. Let's see, a certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. There's not enough evidence. Thank you. 
Jackson Neville, a.k.a. Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. One last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in the no It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Shit! It's... It's coming! Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some, and the pain will go away. I should resist. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist, I just need to stay in control, and, and do something until it goes away.
Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course! Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh. At my age, time means nothing anymore. I... I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. <laughs> well, how about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. I'm just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I, I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell them to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Well, to old friends. Beautiful. It's a Stradelli, crafted in Venice in the 18th century. Mm. It's one of my favorite pieces. Tell me, Scott, what brings you back after all these years? I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Well, let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter, oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. See what this envelope has to say for itself. Hmm. The Royal Five. Hmm. Yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 
1924. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. Are there many places around that could prepare one of these? I bought the company's entire stock as spare parts for a song in 64. Uh, well, they were going to take them to the dumpster, so I got the lot. <laughs> well, anybody around here who has one that actually works has been to see me at one time or another. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, at least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. It's been a while since Manfred went into his office. Let's take a look. Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? <gasps> oh my god! He's dead. Oh. has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We've got to get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. We better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. we got to get out of here fast.
much longer? The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. So, you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. And that's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? Well, well, Scott Shelby. Trouble again? Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat. I'll take care. For old time's sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. You on to anything at the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage. You tell me about it, will you, Scott? Sure. Where are we going? I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We are partners, remember? We had a deal. This isn't a game, Lauren. Manfred was murdered because he knew the identity of the killer. He was ten feet away, for Christ's sake. No. I can't take a chance on the killer getting that close to me. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I've got to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. You're going to be a good girl. You're going to go home and let me get on with my investigation. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect him. This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. I can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. once again in my arms.
Yeah? What do you want? Oh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies in my door. If you want to score, man, you gotta fucking call first. Come on. Hey! Take it easy, man, huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? Gosh! I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! You think you come into my house and steal my dope? You can shoot up in hell, motherfucker! Man, I give you whatever you want. Got dope? Got cash? You, you want some dope? Please, please don't kill me, man. I got children. These my girls, see. This one, Sarah, and a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please, please don't shoot. <laughs> I'm a father too. But I'm no killer. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. He used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt, be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. I was told that you could get Betropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. So, you're looking for Betropin, my dear. Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, now, that shouldn't be a problem. 
Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? I met a guy at a party. He popped some betropin. Told me he got it from you. Do you have many clients? A few. I help to ease their anxiety. Get my hands been off, thin enough, hard working enough. I reassure those who find the system too difficult. I'm like a safety valve that keeps society from imploding. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. You're not drinking? I am... Um... Um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. I'll get your prescription. Won't be a moment. Wait here. The guy gives me the creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army. Surgical gowns? I thought he stopped performing operations. Must be some kind of a weird nostalgia for the past.
we're gonna have some fun together, my darling. I promise. <laughs> Say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I rent it to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> To be honest, I don't give a damn, because as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit-chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Hold on. Is my stinger. Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move, I won't be long.
Hey, Cracker! What you doing in there? Norman Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory of a thing. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. You trying to scam me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Size 10. Most likely a visitor. Blood. Now why is there blood here? The blood tracks lead to the acid bath. Fingerprints. Probably Mad Jacks. Size 10. Most likely a visitor. Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Is the killer's car being here? Harry, comment. Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage. Few traces of blue paint, same tire tracks, no doubt about it, killer's car was here.
solder up his little mouth. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. I've no time to lose, Jack. I wanna know who that car belongs to. Well, what you want don't mean shit to me. I ain't no snitch. You better just lock me up now, boy. Last chance, Jack. Make it easy on yourself. What you gonna do? You ain't got them killer eyes, so what? You gonna cuff me? Uh, broke my fucking nose, pig! Next, I'm gonna blow a hole in your face. Spill all of it! You don't scare me, Mr. CSI. You ain't got it in you. Do you like fireworks, Jack? Cause I bet them gas tanks are gonna blow up real nice. Shit, man, don't mess with the gasoline. Well, just say it was an accident. Or rather, I'll say it was an accident cause you won't really be able to talk, will ya, Jack? What crazy motherfucker, you out of your mind, man? No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. Said I was... Supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything... Shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be... Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. What? They letting you dope heads in the FBI now? God bless America. <laughs> now I'm gonna give you a little help with your drug problem, Mr. Five-O. Permanently. <laughs>